Hi there everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to another design team layout. This is a layout for the Kidaholics, um, what month are we in again? September kit, there we go, I knew I'd get it. This is my first layout for the month. Okay, this layout came with a lovely piece of craft cardstock and I thought I'd be all clever and use it. I've never used craft cardstock in my life. So I thought I'd challenge myself and use it. Yeah, I sort of deviated from that pretty quickly. My, that was my plan. I swear my plan was to use it and do the same thing you're about to see me do on the craft. It just doesn't happen for me. I end up using the this one here just because the grey dilutions paint I think just goes with it much better. It's, it's made for it. So I keep the craft for another day and we'll see if I can challenge myself to use it for something else. So this is a picture that I took of my lovely husband. It was on our cruise, we were coming back um, up the beach from our snorkeling trip and he just looked really really cute so I had to take a photo. I took this with my waterproof camera so that is why there's a tiny blurry spot on his face. It's a water droplet on the lens. Doesn't bother me too much at all and to help it go with this layout better I made the photo black and white. Now what you're gonna see me do here, this is a technique I saw on a YouTube video I watched recently and I thought it was really really cool. It was done with ink and I thought I could do this with my Dilutions paint that comes in the kit. So I wanted to give it a go. So all I'm doing is using some twine, dipping it in the paint and just dragging it over my um, pattern paper. That's it, that's simple. It is messy but it's a lot of fun. The Dilutions paint are very fluid and the jar is nice and big so it's a really good thing to, to do with this technique. So yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. Making a lovely mess, which is what I do best. I love making a creative mess. It's one of my favorite things to do Probably why I do a lot of mixed media. I was Because I do do a lot of mixed mixed media. I wanted to go with something different. So that's why I thought this technique was You know the perfect ex perfect thing to do. It, it still Gives me my mixed media fix, but it doesn't look the same as on my other layouts. But in a minute, what you'll see me do is I will pick up a paintbrush and start throwing paint at the pattern paper. And Illusions paints are perfect to do this because you do need a lot of paint to get really good splats. And the Illusions are really fluid, really easy to get a good amount and just throw. So wait till you see me do that. Lots of fun. A word of advice, if you are going to throw paint or do splatters or anything messy like I do a lot, Make sure your photos aren't within splashing range. As you can see, my photo is right there. But I got lucky this time around. Um, I didn't get any paint on my photo, which I swear is a very rare occurrence because normally I wreck a lot of stuff with paint and splatters. I have not been so lucky in the past. <laughs> but yes, word of the wise, remove all your photos. So as you can see, I'm throwing paint on my pattern paper. Now see how it's... Not like splatters, it gives that big blobby with the flowy line. I love that look. And Dilutions are really good to do it with because it's just so fluid and it's a lot of fun. Give it a try. You'd be surprised how much you enjoy doing it, I swear to you. So as not to be too impatient and wreck my pretty blobby spots that I had going, I did let this dry overnight. So you will see the lighting and the camera position change because I did, it doesn't happen often, I'm not a patient person but I really didn't want to wreck these blobs. So I let it dry overnight and all I'm going to do now is just map my photo on some white cardstock just to pop it off that background. And then you will see we go to the next day which was today when I finished the layout. So before I started the camera rolling what I did is I started going through the kit and got out some things that I thought I would use. Uh, just some things, some things that in the kit that I liked that I thought would go with this layout. And as you can see, I started laying things down already. That's when I thought, oh, hang on, I better press record. So that's what I did. So now I'm going to attempt to put this layout together. I had no idea what I was going to do with this layout, no idea where it was going. All I knew was I was going to use this photo and this background. Apart from that, it was pretty, yeah, thrown together as you know as I went so I'm just going through the bits and pieces on that came in the kit I think these are the collectibles going through pulling some things out that I thought I would like and yeah I do end up using this thankful for a bit there I'm not 100% sure where I put it 
But in the end, I'm really quite happy with where it ends up and what I do use end up for my title. Wow, that was a messed up mouthful. What I meant to say is what I end up using for my title, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what I was trying to get out. My phone's beeping and things keep popping up. <laughs> but here we go. So moving on with the layout. What am I doing? I'm playing with... Ah, oh, yes. These are um, the exclusive printables that came with it. Um, they're really quite cool. You just sort of cut them out and use what you want. I punched out a lot of the circles already. And these are strips, um, like washi strips, I guess you could say. And, yeah, I went for a lot of greys and the light blues on this layout because I, I thought it all ties in. And then I do bring in a bit of craft. I end up using those flags. I do mount the layout on craft cardstock that you saw me play with at the beginning, but I cut out a big chunk of the middle. So I do still have it to use. I am going to challenge myself to use this craft cardstock in some way. So stay tuned and we'll see what we can come up with. So back to the layout. This is my, my title, Thankful For Him. I thought it was quite cute. I was gonna go with Thankful For You, but I ended up sticking with Thankful For Him. Not quite sure why, I just liked it better. See, here are the flags that I use. So I do use a bit of craft. Yeah, I'm, I've moved my title aside for a minute. I'm gonna glue this down and get the placement right and then I'm going to fight with my title because I wasn't 100% sure where I wanted it. At first I was going to have that thankful mounted somewhere on the photo but I don't end up doing that. So putting my flags, I end up putting them down back to front so that's why I fiddle with them a bit. I do fiddle with this a lot and you'll, you'll see that you know I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. I This layout came together as I went I had no clue how I was going to put it together I just saw random things I thought would go stuck them down and in the end I was surprisingly happy with how it ended up most of the time I'm I get very disappointed with how things end up when I let it fly like this and I have no clear view of where I'm going but in this case I was very pleasantly surprised I do like this layout it, it looks really nice it did come together quite well I love the photo and I love how this kit complements this photo and I was able to pull things from it that go really well. This flare is another exclusive and it's really cool, it says my guy which I thought was very fitting for this photo. So I just grabbed some twine to make sort of like a little nest for it, stick it there and that finishes off my cluster next to the photo. So in a minute you're going to see me put down my title. Now my title is Thankful For Him and I put it down in this bottom left corner. Now at first when I put it down though I thought it was, it looks a little out of place like it's just floating there. It's not anchored or tied down in any way but I think it works. Normally I like to have all my pieces, all my elements, all my design elements joined in some way apart from like... I might have a cluster down the bottom but it'll be anchored to the bottom of the layout or clusters on the photos which is really strange because I'm normally a very chaotic person but I like structure in my layouts it would appear. So it was very different for me to put my uh, title just there in the middle of this paper not anchored in any way but I really like it. I do like how it looks and I, I love this title I think it looks really good the way it is. Now you will see, oh yeah, I see, I try with the washi tape to anchor it to the edge of the paper, but it just doesn't work for me. So I just decide to leave it and, you know, let it go, be free, and just let it float there in the middle of the page. There's nothing wrong with that, it looks fine. So, oh, these are my favourite part of this entire kit, I reckon. These little chevrons, they are, oh, I've used them on every layout so far that I've done already. And, yeah, I love them. So that's the last finishing touches to my, my clusters and my layout. I add a few of these little chevrons, a bit of bling, some enamel dots, and it's done. That's my layout. I hope you've enjoyed it. I sure did enjoy making it. It was, it was an experience thinking I had no idea where it was going and in the end having it come together so well and being really happy with it. So thanks for watching. This is my layout. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.